Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we are going to do some Unizon Air Gachang because we have a new set of Precious Pair cards available. You know, it's about time. Uh, you know, definitely got surprised last time with uh, Kyonko coming back so quickly with uh, Hyotan here. Not surprised to see these as a pair though. But let's take a look at the setups for this time around. Happy birthday to Ozonore as well. But that's not why we're here. We are looking at the pairs here. And first, Sakurazaka, we have Uemura Arena as the main and with Habu Mizuho. Uh, I am, you know, I have Uemura as my Oshi for Sakurazaka. So this does make me a little bit tempted to pull for her as well. I might do a few pulls, uh, to be honest. But. Uh, Awesome to see her getting her precious pair. Uh, Ino, Ino Uedina is with Seki Yumiko. And of course, we do know that Seki will be uh, graduating very, very soon. I think she just finished up her last Miguri, right? So for those of you who are Seki Yoshis, make sure you don't miss out on her card here, even though she's a win. Uh, and last but not least, the third pair is Saito Fuyuka with Kosaka Marino. Um, now, as is the case with precious pair cards, if your main if the main card features your Oshi, absolutely go ham for this card. Because if you do not have a precious pair card of your Oshi, you are going to miss out on the top ranks of, you know, the spotlights, anything that, you know, will have strong cards. And I assume you have a very high uh, Kizuna score for your Oshi, which inherently means you should be able to make the best team given your Oshis. So uh, please don't miss out, you know, Sa Saito Fuyuka Oshis, Inoedina Oshis, and Uemuradina Oshis. And of course, uh, the leader skills are slightly different. You see that uh, Uemura has a VD 55% leader skill, Inoe has the PE 90%, and the all 40% for Saito Fuyuka, of course, dictates how your teams can be created. But do note that all skill bonus, score bonuses are about equal at about 2.3, 2.4%. So makes no difference. It is a strong card, absolutely worth chasing after. Um, on the Hinatazaka side, we have, let's take a look at the pairs here. And you can see on the video already, the famed pair there, Kiktoshi. Uh, love to see this pair in existence. Kumi is the main and Katoshi is the with, and they do have the DP 55% for their skill. Second card, and again, you know, Kage has announced her graduation. This might not be her last card, but you probably won't have a second chance to get her precious pair card. So, Kage Oshis, make sure you go crazy for this. Uh, she is with Dakono there, and they feature the BO 90% leader card. And this is the one that I'm looking at. We've got Suzy with Hinano. Very interesting combo. Not one that I would have guessed, but uh, very awesome to see her getting the all 40% leader skill card. So, like I said, I'm hoping to get Suzy here. Uh, I do uh, put her in my general rotation for uh, the Spotlight Lives, and that would be a great boost. Um, I usually rotate her with uh, Yamakuchi Haruyo as my uh, spotlight uh, bonus cards. So getting her would be very helpful, but I'm also not gonna break the bank for her. Uh, sorry, uh, I have spent a lot of money on this game. So, uh, you know, we chase for Kyung. Uh, that's it. Anyways, actually, before we do that, you know, hopefully you haven't spent too much on the Precious Revivals. You know, it was well expected that the Precious Pair is coming. Um, and let's just let's just do the paid gems for the fourth gen too, because um, there are just a few R cards that I am still missing, I believe. Um, so hopefully I can wrap that up soon, because you know, getting a load for an R SR card is always a little bit painful. But anyways. Uh, for those of you who are willing to spend money on this game, you do get a slight discount on your uh, first three pulls with your paid gems, 2000 instead of the standard 2500. And of course, let's not forget to talk about the fact that the percentages for uh, these precious pair cards, they are a static 0.5%, uh, which means it is going to be much higher. There's a much higher chance of you to get non precious pair cards in this gotcha this is one of the downsides of this um you know this is worse than uh what you get for you know 
Monster Strike. It's not even half the rate that you get at Monster Strike for featured cards. So, uh, you know, know how how difficult it can be to get uh, a specific card, 0.5%. But anyways, they know how to get our money, so that's how this works. And because, you know, we are guaranteed to have the cut in with them signing the card, if we don't see a good load, poka, that's good. Uh, we are probably not uh, going to get their precious pair card. I think it's almost guaranteed that the load will be a giveaway. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my hoots up here because uh, maybe just maybe I hit the jackpot here. But you know, like I said, the load should reveal a bit, you know, the secrets here. But we'll see. Me pan, and then it is a card that I don't have though, so I am happy. Koino Ashiato's to the. Uh, but yeah, that that's the problem with the precious pair of gotchas, or even the precious gotchas, right? You just cannot reliably uh, expect to get uh, the precious cards, even with an SSI. Because, well, three out of four times, it's not going to be a precious card, right? 1.5% out of six uh, in this game. So. But a new card is very much appreciated. I don't get that many uh, new cards uh, for Hinata Zaka, so... Uh, very happy to see that. But, yeah, I mean... And, you know, of course, like I said, th these cards are very strong. The fact that they activate those particular members, right? Whichever one is in the pair. So for Suzy's case, it'd be Suzy and Hinana, who get 80% higher activation rates for their skill bonus. And, you know, the expected... Oh, 1-9. The expected values that you can get out of those... Uh, Precious pair cards is just insane. And now on the downside, that does. Ah, Kumiten. Very old Kyun card. Wow. But that does mean that it makes it hard for any other team compositions to, uh, you know, be relevant in this game, right? After I have gotten Kyunko's uh, Precious pair cards, that's the only team I use to play the game, right? All those, all the time that I spent to figure out what's the best red team, what's the best blue team, what's the best green team, that's all uh, not part of the game anymore. Because I just know, okay, is there a better Kyonko card? No, then it doesn't matter for me. Uh, which, you know, theoretically does make the game a little bit cheaper for me because I don't have to worry about... Uh... Okay, here we go. Good luck. Good luck. Since I don't really have to worry about other cards, since I know they're not going to beat my Kyonko team. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. Right? And we know we saw this cut in, so it must be the load. Let's hope this is Susie's precious pair card. Alright, it's the last one. It's the last one. That's good. Oh, oh Hiro. Right, th th this is what I'm worried about. Was this load this art card? It could be. It could have been. But, but, I am hoping that it was the precious card for Susie. There we go. Awesome. I got. I will. My heart dropped so fast when I saw Hirao there. Now I'm glad I got that art card. And that might be one of the last art cards I have left. I've lost my sheet where I kept track of everything. But, oh, thank you, Gacha Gods, for this prize here. Getting Suzy right away with only three temples, three discounted temples is very much, very much a cheap uh, payment. Uh, I actually I actually looked up how much it took for me to pull my precious cards for Kyonko. And for the standard white precious card, I had to hit the ceiling. That was 250. 
to get Kyonko and Nacho's precious pair, that took 230. For Kyonko and Hyotan, that took 160. And I think I still did more to finish up, you know, the, the trip, but <laughs> it, it is painful. Now, of course, not getting any of the other cards is a little bit better, but to be, if three temples getting the card you want, good, that's good. So, you know what? To celebrate, why don't we go for Uemura here? Let's buy a pack. Give me a second to uh, stock up on some uh, paid gems for the discounted. Actually, yeah. Oops, sorry, I accidentally hit the pause button. Let's see. Uh, let's spend some money. I'll be back. Okay, and we are back. Did a little bit of kaching. There's, of course, the. Uh, a special pack available here where you can get 2,500 extra gems or sorry 2,000 extra gems for the normal price of 10.5 so why not let's do that I'm gonna I'm gonna spend money later so might as well take advantage of this while the bonus is up and might actually stock up on all of those other packs a little bit later because uh, getting those uh, materials to unlock these members cards are are nice to have so uh, let's just do the pay to pack uh, group here. Uh, we've got three temples at a discounted price. And obviously, the big thing here too is that I really do need more Sakurazaka cards. So if I can get some hits, uh, even if they aren't the precious cards, that's fine because of just how far behind I am on just Sakurazaka collections. Um, of course, when the fourth. Sorry, third gen members for Sakura Zaka comes out. Um, I will be uh, posting uh, a bunch of polls on there. And so, uh, not posting, pulling a lot. Because, you know, getting new members is important, again, to be able to increase your team group score. Hopefully by then they also kind of expand on what uh, the next tier is. Because I did hit SS S plus 5 recently so i have hit the top tier of this game which is insane if you think about it uh i guess not too insane i have spent much um but uh you know the fact that i am skewed to hinata zaka is not necessarily a good thing it should if i want to compete more right like i should be able to hit the the top you know top tier of the game if you know, i really spent more effort just uh Improving my overall team score, which is sorely lacking on the Sakura Zaka side. Okay, nothing outside, but we've got a laptop on the inside. Um, hoping we can get some hits here. Ugh. Well, we did get that uh, Kumite and Kim card the last time we saw the 1-9. Usually the 1-9 is a death sentence in my mind, but... And I will say that uh, the fact that all of the other games. Oh, Yuka! Get to see her. But not what I wanted there. Now, in fact, the other games uh, put in the 4th gen uh, Hinata Zaka member so quickly. At the same time, basically, right? The first, the first, and the third, respectively. Uh, was pretty surprising. So we'll see how quickly the this game brings in the Sakura Zaka members. Um, but the problem for me is I definitely have not been keeping up with the uh, fourth gen members. Sorry, third gen Sakura Zaka members very well. So I really don't know anybody at this point, which is gonna be tough when when their gotcha happens because I will be learning most people's names for the first time. Could do some homework, but okay. Well, that was a bakshi set of bakshis, right? Got a uh, dupe yuka, but that really doesn't mean anything. So, all right, let's do a few more pulls. Let's see if we can't get some love here. Would love at least a new SSR card. Haven't been able to get that even. All right, we've got the laptop on the inside. Hmm. Wow, one nine again. 
But actually, today all one nines have been the hits, right? We got Kumiten, we got, oh, we got both of the captains. But I'm not gonna put any hope on it. I don't know. If we get one SSR, then I'll stop. There we go. Uh, I'll probably stop after this. And we do have a what panel missions coming up, so kind of take it easy. Hopefully, collect some gems. Somebody's gonna come in. Who is it? Oh, Hono. Hono is not one of the cards, but I'm still some hope with that load. That load is a pretty darn good load. So let's see. Tamura Hono. Alright, number 8 slot for a rainbow. Oh! Okay! Okay, that's good. This is the Hono. We got something else in that 8 slot. Hopefully it's a precious card. Certainly the load would indicate something heavier. Yes. Okay, so I guess it was just this Hono card. Pretty cute. Can't argue against that. Let's see. Life and combo support. So uh, nothing that you'd ever use. But uh, one more? One more. Let's do one more. Okay. One last temple here. Okay, well, this isn't looking great. Four golds. Kosaka, Matsuda, Kamura, Disa. Kimoto, Endo, Seki, Endo, Yuka, Ozeki. Mm. One last. Ah. Okay, this is it. This is it. If I keep doing this, I'm gonna run out of all my gems. And oh, nobody's gonna come in here. Ah. The dangers of gotcha-ing. Okay, I am gonna stop here. We're at 10k gems, that's probably good enough. Um, so, so unfortunately, no love from the Sakura Zaka side. But uh, Hinata Zaka, we got, we got that Suzy card that I was hoping for, so that makes me really happy. Uh, I will be spending my evening today unlocking everything for her here. Uh, very happy about that. And, you know, you get a special video. You also get some bonus for Kamimura there. So, really happy for that. Anyways, uh, that's it for me today. Thank you for watching and... If you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe. This channel is, you know, mainly Monster Strike, but occasionally if you like some Yunus on Air gotcha, you can see that and enjoy that here as well. So that's it for me today. Thanks. And until next time, bye-bye.